place to swim. So we wanted to give her an early start at uh, telling us what she's going to be doing in the future. So please listen up. Okay. All right. First off, I just wanted to um, thank you guys so much for supporting me over the last year. Um, it's been a really amazing journey, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I couldn't have done it without your prayers, uh, without your financial giving, without your generosity. Um, so that's where I want to start off. I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Katie. Um, and for those of you who do know me, my name is still Katie. Um, and yeah, so I um, grew up here in Houston and have been working with an organization called Youth with a Mission. Um, they're an international, interdenominational missionary training organization. And um, they have, they work in over 180 countries. Um, so they're very global, one of the biggest missionary training organizations in the world. And um, I currently have been in Perth, Australia. Um, they have campuses all over the world, but I chose Perth because one of my friends uh, is from there, and she invited me. So in 2010, I went to do a training school there and have been hooked ever since. Um, and what I've been doing um, over the last kind of like three years, um, mostly I've been working with children. Um, and we do a course called Children at Risk School, and um, so basically training people how to work with kids from different countries. Um, and so, yeah, over the last year, um, I've been on staff there. So instead of, like, I took the course in 2011. Um, and then this past year, I was more of a leadership role on it. So that was really exciting. Definitely got to grow in a lot of areas uh, in leadership. And, um, yeah. I've just been serving there, and as I've been serving, God has been giving me a lot of um, direction for my life. I'm not one of those, like, visionary, like, I have a five-year plan, I have a two-week plan, you know, like, planning, planning, planning. Um, like, pretty much my life has been like, okay, God, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to stick with you and see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, over the last year, God has been really revealing his plans um, for the future, and what those plans include, um, kind of a little bit out of the ordinary, um, and God has called me uh, to South Sudan, which is a country in Africa. Um, it's kind of in the center, a uh, bit of a hard country. Um, they've recently, you know, gone through, like, the longest civil war in the world. Um, South Sudan just became a country in 2011, um, so, yeah, they're pretty new. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to go on there, so basically in the next few years, I'm going to be doing training uh, with Youth of the Mission in Perth to help me get there. Um, I am going to be part of a team that's going to go um, long term, um, do work in healthcare. There's a lot of healthcare needs. They have some of the highest like death rates for children one to five in the world. They have the highest death rate for um, mother like mortality rate. Um, they have a lot of, of things going on in the country. Um, so yeah, the next year is I guess they're going to be preparing me to go there long term uh, with a team um, to work in a lot of different areas in the, in the community. Um, so this coming January, I'm going to be doing a course called the Introduction to Primary Health Care. And um, what that will include is just basic teaching on the preventable diseases, like the major preventable diseases in third world countries. Because most of the people that die, um, it's stuff from like diarrhea, fever, um, like sanitation issues, those sorts of things. Um, so basically this course will be equipping me to go and um, be able to teach people um, in a small village setting. That way they can teach people as well. Um, and so it's very multipliable, very effective in countries like South Sudan. Um, yeah, God has just really been revealing um, himself in the way that he speaks in the details. Like that's one thing uh, over the last year that I've really just come to see and understand about God. He's just uh, so incredibly detailed, and he loves to speak. He loves to show you the way when you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, if you seek him, it says you will find him, and um, yeah, he will be found by you, and so that's something I've really experienced over the last year, God um, coming and showing himself and speaking into the details you know, when I ask different questions, he's always been faithful to answer and always been faithful to not only just, um, yeah, this is what you're going to do, 
or you know, I want you to work for me or I want you to serve me, but actually um, it's a lot more about like him relating to me as a person um, and getting to know me and me getting to know him. Um, it's not <laughs> like something, you know, I'm a missionary and I love working for God and serving God, but it, like the last year, something that he's really taught me is like, it's not, it's not really about that. <laughs> like, I love, I love what you do. I love your obedience, but it's about like you knowing my heart. And from that, like, that's where you live from. That's where you operate. That's how you do life is knowing his heart. Um, and it's really been cool, like, as I've been praying uh, with a team of people in Perth about Sudan, um, God has just revealed his heart for this country, like, through Isaiah 61 and 62. Um, he's revealed, you know, he's a God who wants to restore that land. He's a God who wants to heal people. He wants to set people free. He wants to open the eyes of the blind. He wants to, you know, let the lame walk. Like, that's the God that I serve, and that's the God that I want to go with um, into these countries. And I've seen him so faithful and, you know, just revealing, like, how much he loves these people and how much, you know, how committed he is to these people, even though, I mean, if you look at the country, you're like, where's God? But he's there and he's working and he's moving in the church and he's growing the people. And, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I probably won't, like, actually get to South Sudan, maybe five to ten years, I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to, to see and be trained by God um, to go there with a team. Um, it's really, like, I love the community that I work in. Um, and I love, you know, being there with people. And so, yeah, I'm really excited um, to go. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your prayers. I really need them. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been a blessing to go and a blessing to um, be able to connect with you guys while I'm home as well. So thank you, Pastor Mike. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Man. I want to pray for Katie. Lord, what a great servant, Lord. I thank you so much for how she's growing in her walk with you. Thank you for this call, Lord. This is a very challenging call that you've called her to. God, give her your grace, your abundance grace of grace, Lord. Give her just grace upon grace and help her and lead her and help us to support her with all that we can. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, give her another round of applause. Thank you. Thank the Lord.